All right, so for like me in this room, being back in this room, I'm having flashbacks. Well, where'd you sit in here? I sat over here. Ah, um, I, sat, I, I sit over here on seat three. But so. here's what happened. Like first day Pete comes in, he's like, all right, everybody, everybody, you probably have your seat where you always sit. Yep. Everybody get up and move seats. Mm -hmm. And so we all got up and moved seats. And then there was one guy who didn't move seats mm -hmm. and he was a good player. And that dude wasn't here like seven days later. You know, really? So like Pete meant business. It was like, well, this dude's for real about what he says. So funny, I sat over there kind of where you sat. And then he, the first day he said, everybody get up, move. Yeah. So I sat over here. And then next year I sat over here. And then every time he says, get up and change, I literally walk around the room and come back <laughs> and sit in the same seat. It feels weird to talk about Pete Carroll culture, meetings, sitting in a chair. Yeah. I say we shoot some hoops. Let's do it. Come on. Let's <laughs> see if you got a jump shot. The team meeting room, a foundation of Pete Carroll's winning culture from surprise guests. Ice Cube, come on down. Hey, 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 hey. How you guys doing? to ultra-competitive basketball shoot-offs. So what is it with Pete Carroll in the basketball hoop? Because I feel like this is like a he big deal to him. He, he loves basketball. I think he, I think he wishes he was uh, Steve Nash or something like that. Well, we all do. But, but the, funny, the, the funny thing was is that he named me started back in 2012. First thing he was doing was he was shooting hoops outside. And he said, uh, hey, can you come meet me outside? And I go outside you know, to meet with him for a second. He's shooting hoops and he's like, you know, three-point contest? I like where you're going with this story because when, when I was here, I played him one-on-one -on -one in basketball, and he told me during that game that we were trading for another quarterback. Oh, really? Basically to replace me. And so uh, what's the story with you? So I just played my third preseason game, and he's like, uh, hey, you want to shoot hoops? A little three-point contest. And uh, so anyways, I go, out, I go out there, and he says, uh, that's, that's one, by the way. Uh, he goes, uh, hey, you know what, we're going to. We're gonna name you the starting quarterback. You're gonna be a franchise quarterback. He and said that over a three-point shoot. Yeah, shoot yeah. He won. The, I, I didn't end up shooting with him, but <laughs> um, I should end I'm up beating shooting. you right now, by the yeah, way. Yeah, we're I'm just so you know. Beating. <laughs> All right. So, what are some other cool things that he's done, like these team meeting rooms? I just yeah. remember his team meeting rooms were like the the best team meetings. You know, Kevin Durant was here. Uh, the, 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 the Warriors right here. It didn't. I think Tyler Lockett Seahawks beat him. Or? I think yeah. Tyler beat him. You know. Uh, So we've had some awesome players come in here. One of my favorite times was when he brings, you know, guys like Bill Russell. When he comes in and talks to us about what success looks like and, and winning. Why do you think that's so important? Like, Ooh, why do you okay. think? I think it's important because you get to see what success looks like, you know, and, and why. And what pe makes people successful. I think that's important, you know, to understand why people are successful. The thing that coach does better than anybody else is just building culture. You know, the culture of you know, winning, you know, the culture of com competing, the culture of just uh, loving what you do. And that's what makes him so great. I think one of the things that, for me, that makes Pete Carroll so different, and I see a lot of people try to copy kind of his style, is this, like, competition Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Yep. No turnover Thursday. Mm -hmm. No repeat Friday. What's Tell the Truth Monday about? Tell the Truth Monday. Monday morning, you come in and uh, it's tell the truth. You know, all the coaches go through. The good, the bad, the ugly. Has he ever told the truth Monday on you? Yes, definitely has. We can't make that play, you can't do that, or this or that. You, you handle it and you understand it. And also after great games too, you know, he lets you know that you play great too as well. I think what happens is after Monday afternoon, it's gone. And we're on to the next week. Instead of pig, I think we should right. be playing best of, three. best of three. I think you're winning right now? I am winning. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> All right, I just, pressure's on. Yeah. Maybe I'm hustling you. If I make this and then you miss, you're out. Bro. Okay. Fuck this. Get in there. Yes, sir. Ah. All right, we, you, we, got, we got one more, right? Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app and for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.